It's a big one, man. This is huge. I'm excited. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. Wait, why? We, we had Tony Ayo, now we got Lloyd Banks, you know? How big of a Banks fan are you? Are you kidding me, man? That's a full size. That's a full size. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Hello to every single member of the FS Army watching across the world. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. James. And we have with us here today Lloyd Banks. His closet's got more aisles than Pathmark. His new project, Course of the Inevitable Part 2, is out now. Yes, sir. Lloyd, how you feeling? Sure. I'm feeling good. Um, new album, Cody 2, Course of the Inevitable 2. The first installment was released last year, June. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this is my first time in a while, like dropping the album, like back to back, back, to back. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? I, I love this climate right here and just the freedom to be able to do that and be independent. We're so glad to have you here. We're gonna talk about your sneaker history. It. The first thing we wanna talk about though, the shoes everybody has on feet. Okay. So Welty, you got a big smile on your face. Please tell oh, us what you're wearing. I, like, I feel like I have to like run the joke back. Go ahead. It's the j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-j-
somebody wants. Mm -hmm. So right. like, enjoy the moment. So right. get your turtle doves, get your wave runners, get your 750s, bring the 750s back. Next bit of sneaker news, full size run alum, Ja Morant hey. put out a tweet saying that wearing mids in 2020 is crazy. <laughs> Crying emoji. Oh no, nah, I definitely won't do that. Young boy. Lloyd, are you down with wearing mids? Nah. No? Nah. Air Force One mids? Nah. We're doing one mid? Nah. Why not? I just never rocked with those. The interesting thing is, I didn't think that he was talking about Air Force Ones. I thought he was talking about Jordan mids. Mm, okay. Because Jordan mids have really been making a resurgence. They actually yeah. went up 10 more dollars. I mean, shoes don't go up that are not doing well. Yeah. You know, uh, Air Force One mids haven't really been doing true. anything to even matter to which, a kid which like Jordan that. Jordan mids, though? Like the Concords and shit? Uh, well, to see what the... The jo ones. They, the ones, the Jordan oh, okay, mids. yeah. yeah. I, see, I like those. Nah. The mids? Yeah, both of them I could rock yeah. with. Them. The mids are moving. And, and that's what I'm saying. Like people, I mean, I've seen Future wear mids. Mm -hmm. I've worn mids. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Um, the black designer, painter, blue the great. He did a Jordan mid. Yeah. Melanie Asani. The older you get, you just realize, like, bro, you got to like stuff, bro. It's like you can't be. So, you know? well, so we just let them get it then, right? So, yeah. so they turned the black Air Force One to the black nasties, right? Come on. We wanted to talk to you about this. Are you upset by that? Yeah, I'm upset by black that. Clothes, black clothes with your black forces. I'm upset. I'm upset. The black nasties. Wait, was that your signature shoe back in the day? Yeah, I wore them, and they didn't show the crease as fast as the white. So it was a real right, utility right, to right, it. Right, yeah, right. so I don't know. I just think they taking somebody from their neighborhood that just wore them to the ground. To the ground and just decided to say, I don't want my shit to look like that. <laughs> right. Mm. But like what about like the stereotype that it's like, oh, you're about to commit a felony, you know, wearing yeah, like, I mean, Air Force Ones? See me maybe because at that time, before the money came, <laughs> that was a good thing. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, speaking of history, you know, I want to ask you, you know, like my favorite G Unit member, I'm just being honest. I was gonna Thank put you. it out there. When it comes to sneakers, what is your first memories of it? Like, when did sneakers matter to you at all? As long as I can remember. Okay. I done had everything from British Nikes to hey. uh, the Alices. Uh, I'm probably like eight, nine years old. They used to have like the color slips that you could slide into the Converse. Slipping and slide, <laughs> changing yeah. the colors on them. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So you used to buy the sneaker and then pay a little extra and it'll come with like three slides, mm -hmm. like green, red, and blue. And then I actually got to a point where my shoe size was the same as my mom, right? And my mom was heavy sneaker head. She was right? really? Oh, okay. Yeah, so all Your mom had the Jordans and everything? No, this is like Etonics days. Okay. Yeah, like, like there's, that. there's people you know that on mean? the block, with people on the block had right. like the, the fresh shit. And everything. So at that time, wow. it was like, uh, you know how they went through champion hoodies and stuff? Before really? that, it was a, a brand called Discus. So they had like yeah. Discus hoodies and, and crew necks. Cause you know, they used to wear the Discus and all of that. Okay, you know what? what? Okay. Discus, you know, it was like the fake he, champion. He, he, he don't know. And my mom would have the purple shoes, the Reebok classics, and the yellows, and all those 11. crazy colors, right? And all, right. all my colors were like navy blue, black, right, red. Right, right, right. So when we started wearing the same size. Going crazy. Going crazy. You instantly had a collection. <laughs> Forget about Did it. Did people know that you were rocking your mom's no. shoes? No. <laughs> <laughs> right. Nah, you're coming crazy. So it's kind of like now, like, you know, you're having kids and stuff like that, like to see all of these waves come back. Like mm -hmm. these Jordans, and sh these were out when I was a kid and they're yeah. coming back and right. they, they're looking at me like, I don't know what's going on. I'm like, <laughs> I did oh. this, I saw this. <laughs> the stitching is not even the same one, though. Ah, come, on. come on. You know what I mean? Talk or, about it. Or, or the sign was here, but it's here now. I was there when they first came out. Another one of my favorites was the the blue uh, pennies. Okay. So a lot of people don't know, those, those were kind of discontinued when they first came out, because they yeah. had like some type of, uh, Something like some type of metal, something in the the front of it. The first, first, you know, first, first, first toughest time has some crazy shit ever. in there. Wouldn't I bend or anything. Wait, we had a, we had a debate about that. Do you think that a foam positive shoe is bulletproof? Those were. <laughs> <laughs> you said that with like such a I'm, such knowledge, like first hand. You, you can you can kick somebody. You can really do damage with those. Fast forwarding a little bit to when you were in the rap game, and you know there was a big. Reebok deal with G Unit he and 50 Cent. He just a shot at me. He said, when you were in the rap game. I mean, the rap game. <laughs> no, no, no. Compared to nah, your. <laughs> this guy. In terms of the Reebok deal, All right. what was your part in that? And, and how much did you benefit from that? Was there, was there ever like player exclusive shoes that you got? Yeah, I had my own because I had my logo. I was big on branding mm, um, before like I this. even knew what I was doing, really. Okay. Damn. See, I'm always unprepared. But uh, for one, I was going to bring a pair with me, but I was kind of rushing. Uh, for two, 
I drew like most of my designs. I was gonna ask who did your logos. That's crazy yeah, that you did your own oh, shit. Wow. That's yeah. crazy. Like that colorway of right. the shoe right there, I probably drew that in non, you know, the nineties. Right. When I'm in school. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. being the creative. Raps, sneakers. I still have some of the books. So that was my dream. Like you I wanted chose... to be a sneaker designer when you were a yeah. kid? Yeah. Really? Wow. You so, should make a coloring book now with all your designs. That'd be dope. fire. That's dope. I remember the Air Force Ones, low tops. I'm like, damn, what if the check was yellow? And then like years later, I remember they came out I'm like, oh, this is crazy. Not to bring up bad times, but the, the night I got shot, I was in that mode of creating sneakers and stuff. So what? I would go to the stores and get all type of materials and things. Mm -hmm. Paints and stuff. Right, and I had the um Gucci cloth no. on the Newport sign upside no, down? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I had a bandana and I would cut them out and everywhere. So the, the check part, right. the front, the back, or the toe the box, of course. One. You would yeah. make it yourself? You yeah. would apply the material? Yeah, I would do the sketching out. I would cut them out, boom, 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 layer it so it was a little thicker material. Did you make other pairs for people? Did you sell them around? Only a few. Yeah. And then I got shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had those on the night I got shot. Right? And then later on, somebody else from close by my neighborhood did a pair as well. They were like black and white. And then before I know it, they was just out. Doing everybody's on that now. Right. So Cody too, right. on there, you speak about, you know, spending a quarter million in uncomfortable shoes. Do, do you think that you really spent that much? Like what type of, what is the most uncomfortable designer shoes? Cause we have to be talking about designer shoes here. For sure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what is the most uncomfortable designer shoes to you? Alexander McQueen. Oh yes. The sole is kind of thick. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. See, you realize you have sneakers on, right? That's when you know they're uncomfortable. Yeah. You're not even supposed to realize you have shoes on. It's supposed to just be going. You never right. feel them, right? Right. right. <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you, I think even like the ups and all of those were uncomfortable as well. For one, I was wearing the wrong shoe size for like years. Wait, what What shoe size were you wearing and what's your actual shoe 11 size? 11 and a half and I'm really a 13. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, every shoe's uncomfortable at that point. That's what I'm saying. So, yeah. but, but it varied though, because in 10s yeah. I was like a 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was a... Uh, Did you go to like a Foot Locker and get your foot measured or something like that? Eventually, yeah. And Pulled out the like, Brannock oh, device. damn. But it wasn't until I put on the Prestos. Oh, Prestos, okay, Nike. I, if I could have just slapped the hell out of myself, it would have happened at that moment. Cause that's the first time I said, damn, now I know why my feet is hurting. Cause these <laughs> shits feel like clouds. T-shirts for your feet. Like you feel like Spider-Man. And like the sizing was different on them. with them shits yeah. on. Yeah. Right, and I was like, wow. So ever since then I start understanding why people are wearing like, you know, like the runner shoes, the Yeezys and things like that. Right. You said you spent that much money on all those shoes. Have you resold any of those sneakers? Nah, I actually still, I got all of my stuff like, See, the thing is, being a, like an impulsive buyer, you like a colorway, you might buy all four of them at the same time, but you know, you can't predict the weather, you know what I mean? So good part is, there's no such thing as an old shoe anymore. It was a time where you couldn't wear those shoes two, three years down the line. Right. Now it's like people buy them just to hold them right. and break back out. But as far as the how much I spent, yeah. Okay. Easily. Right. Hundreds of thousands of dollars on, on, on uncomfortable sneakers. <laughs> All right. Never again. Nah. I want to get back to the Reebok thing for a moment. We had Tony Yeo on here. Okay. And he said the Reebok deal ended when 50 kind of called a meeting with a bunch of G-Unit members and he said, It's me, Banks, Buck, rest in peace, Prodigy. He looked at the ground. He was like, You didn't have on your shoes. Nobody had on their shoes. shoes. Damn. He was like, um, deal's over, guys. Do you remember that moment? Of course. Is that how it happened? Yeah, pretty much. But I feel like, like you stuff. were wearing them all the time. <laughs> yeah. I feel like um, you were loyal to this. See shit. what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like all the other right. kids in class are screwing I don't know up. What and what like I'm doing my work. I don't dog. know. What, <laughs> you missed <laughs> recess because all the other kids were like acting up. I don't know what the. See, that's why I knew I should have bought my head. I still have them. How big was the Reebok deal for you? Were you getting paid off it separately? Yeah, probably like two to a quarter million. That's some comfortable <laughs> shoes. On the Griselda album that you had a song on. Mm -hmm. You had that song, Element of Surprise. Uh -huh. You had a lyric on there. You said Jordan was killing them with their shot. They're shooting over his sneakers. Yeah. Like, was that something you ever witnessed or was that like? I think the whole world witnessed yeah. that. I was real. You know, up, up until probably like five, six years ago, that probably was still happening. We were getting in, like mm -hmm. you can understand, the same way people were getting in, you know, getting robbed for like starter jackets. Right, right, right. Ava Rexes. The, the know, hottest gear type It was thing. all new at the time. That's like somebody going, 
to stick you up for an Averex now. Hey, what? It's like, like, you don't even let me know keep this my Averex. What this like, come on, bro. Why are you doing this? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Matter of like, fact, it's here, on it's sale. It. It's somewhere. Like, please, man. Go to Nordstrom Rack. <laughs> so it's like, you know, it's not too many of them. You know what I mean? But who knows? You know, maybe 10, 15 years from now, people look, look at the LeBrons that way or the KDs and yeah. the Obies. You right. know what I mean? But that was just a, a time for us. And you had movies like... Do the right thing. Right. Mm-hmm. You step on my joints. It, it, yeah. it made it seem you know like, yeah. yo. Oh, Do you ever man. remember someone stepping on your shoes back in the day? Of course. What happened? Man, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it became normal, you know what I mean? Like, not too many people had, you know, the it shoe at the time. Yeah, yeah. From mixtape banks to Cody 2 that's out now. Mm-hmm. Everybody go get that. Please. What have you used to really hone in and keep up with fashion trends and music? I think that I've learned a lot from just uh, being a student. A lot of the artists that influenced me, I, what I took from them was the relatability. Like, if you look at uh, Eminem, he's performing with like what he's comfortable with. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He had a do-rag on. Right, so he was wearing that at one point. <laughs> <laughs> and it switched to like a, um, like a, I don't know if it's a dad yeah, hat that, or that, 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 type that of really cap. basic Nike yeah, hats, right? Yeah, like I'm 31 years old hat, like yeah, that hat. Wear, like you. some sweats and then like George Ford, some Jordan. <laughs> mm. I'm like, damn, that's crazy, right? Crazy. <laughs> but I started watching the crowd, and people were looking like him. They're dressing you, yeah. right? And then you look at somebody like DMX, you know, rest in peace. You mm-hmm. know, it was easy to look like DMX. You know what people I mean? People started wearing the bandana and everything. Ah, relatable. Right. From a stage standpoint, I got you. And even before that, like NWA, so Raiders and like a White Sox hat, it's just always been like my go-to. Like nobody can look like Busta <laughs> Rhymes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, <laughs> it, it go both ways. I've been that, doing my push-ups, unique, I'm trying. Some artists, right. like, it's, so it's, it's, it's both ways, I got it you. It just depends. For mm-hmm. me, I chose the more like relatable uh, lane. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. Thanks. Every single week here on the show, we punish someone in the worst take section for something terrible they just said last week, as decided by the YouTube commenters. Okay. We make them switch out their shoes for something awful. Well, this week is our friend Trinidad James for <sighs> saying on, summer. Guys, come on. Damn, when he met Summer Slam. It's Summer Jam, July 30th. Summer That's going to be. Because he jamming. He jamming in the summer. Hope you like He jamming in the summer. He jamming in the summer. He jamming in the summer for <laughs> Summer Slam. He's working on the album. All I can think about is music. Of course, I'm going to say he's Summer Jam. <laughs> I want to perform a Summer Jam. What does it say on there? Aranis? I don't know. What are these, Adidas? I don't know what they are. Man, ain't no what you mean, yo? ain't Oh, no it ain't no brand? What's... Nah, they some food Fake food, Jordans man. we got on 8th Avenue. Crazy. Creative. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> did you ever get hit with fake Jordans back in the day? I probably did. Somebody could get these off, though. Yeah, I mean, Go I ahead. Get these off. Go ahead. They not. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, hey, somebody yeah. could get these You're off. You're not mad at them? I've seen things that cost $1,000 that's, you know, trash. Worse than that. You know, yeah, <laughs> Super fast. You, were, you were talking about the McQueen. Oh, you were talking about the McQueen shoes, but like a lot of the designer shoes have like the super thick sole on them, you know? Yeah, and you're, no, but you're but you're like a taller guy, right? Anyway, so if you're throwing on a shoe nah, that has to be six five, <laughs> really? Nah, I'm cool. I, kinda... I was in the back of my class my whole life. <laughs> mm, I use bathroom yeah, I right, right, right. I don't want right. to be no. I'm, I'm cool. Okay. So my brother Banks, we also do a segment on the show called Drip, Flip, or Skip. Okay. Drip meaning that it looks good. Mm-hmm. Flip meaning that you resell it, and mm-hmm. skip meaning that you don't fuck with it at all. Okay. Our first shoe in Drip for the Prescript is going to be the Air Jordan 12 Low, 25 years of China. But those are like what, patent leather? It's a patent leather on the side. So your it's like a, shoe, it's like a low version, opposite colors, patent leather front, shiny. Yeah, I would flip those. Okay. I'm more like traditional with it, but mm-hmm. the new demographic might like the patent leather. Yeah, it's a shoe I don't need. Flip. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't like my sneakers or my magic cards holographic, so this is a skip for me. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm not a big I'm a huge uh Jordan 12 fan, but not the lows like this one and then the reverse color, the taxis. Obviously I've told my traumatizing father story about the taxis. Um so 12s <laughs> are one of my fa- f- favorite Jordans, but this is a skip for me. Don't do the low twelves. Moving forward in shoes, we have the Nike Air Max 97, Black University Red, no Satan. Quality. Uh did you see like the little Nas X Satan shoes? Yeah. Like, it's like the same color, but like Nike made it. I, I can't get down with the Satan shoe. You down with Jesus, man? Yes. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. This, it's too close, so it's just a skip. Okay. 
Yeah, not today, Satan. I think Mischief should sue Nike over this one, though. Flip the switch on. Ooh, okay. No, that's okay. not going to happen. I'll skip these. My brother Banks. I done been in and out the store plenty of times and saw that design. I just, something about it, the wave, I just couldn't get with it. So I'm going to skip on those. Did things. you ever do Air Maxes, really? Definitely didn't do the 95. Mm -hmm. Didn't do that. Because that's like the white, the, white, like, the white and red Air Max ones. But I, that's my, I got about 10 of them right now. Really? Yeah, they older Air Max. See, I think he would have the, the like, the, the good yeah. Nike Air Max stuff, though. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm passing on those. I'm okay. skipping that. Yeah, um, what's it called? I don't need this shoe. Yeah, I remember I have a buddy, PJ. I'm going to put his name out there. Tucker? He, uh, not PJ Tucker, though. No. <laughs> he bought the Satan shoes, spent like about, I don't know, a lot of money. Did the whole curse come upon <laughs> his family? and like? No, 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 no. <laughs> but when he that. bought them... <laughs> he had a what? swarm of locusts show up at his front door? Yeah. He, he knew I was going to have the shoe. He just knew I was going to have it. I was like, right. I don't have that shoe. Right. I was like, I'm good. Some time went by. And he was like, I'm trying to sell this shoe. I'm like, bro, nobody's buying a worn pair of Satan shoes. It's <laughs> not happening, dog. So why didn't they just do a Jesus shoe after that? They did they one did just water. They did, they did just water. Yeah. They did oh, like okay. a white and bluish one. Jesus water. I will give them that. Okay. Um, but this is a skip for me. Moving forward to shoes. We have the Nike Air Force One mid jewel. Do you remember I, the look I, on the look uh, on your face? <laughs> that is We know right now. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Cool. Skip. Big you don't, you don't remember when like Puff and Mace were wearing the Jewel Air Force Ones and like the Mo Money Mo Problems video? I do. That's they what I was going to ask though, right? The, was like, it was more white it was with the one white color with check. The red, like the red and check, the yellow red, yeah. when they had the shiny suits. Yeah. So you don't get down with the Jewel shoot. So I said double don't. Yeah, I'm going to tell you like John Moran told me. No mitts. Okay. Uh, I actually like this colorway, but... No, this, you don't. <laughs> no, the colorway is nice. You right, I do. That's the like colorway the, is that's nice. like the Miami color, right? Mm -hmm. Or like the, you know, the Army colorway with the gum sole is nice, but just Air Force One mids are not for me, so. I will be honest with you guys, and John Morant, he's from South Carolina. It's all good, and I love basketball, and I love him and his father. I love mids. I love mid Air Force Ones. No. I love mid Air Force Ones, man. <laughs> I got, I, I'm waiting on some new wow, port joints to come. I mean, I'm going to be honest with that. you guys. Like, Thank you. Mid top Air Force Ones, I literally kind of made it a point to myself. I was like, you know what? Everybody hates these. I always kind of gravitate more to that underdog or the person everybody hates because I just feel like I could wear anything. I'm, yeah, you know what's crazy? And I know this is completely off because this is a sneaker based show, right? But you know, I'm from Jamaica, Queens. Yeah. My first two or three years in the industry, probably Timberlands, right? I seen y'all y'all killed us with the Timberland <laughs> shit with Yeezy. Please forgive my cuff. I was a big Chucker fan, still am. Mm. I like the Tim Chuckers though. Yeah, you oh, got, got lines about it. Oh, you got so raps you like about it. on the Chuckers. Wait, wait, wait. So you don't like, you don't like mid-cut Air Force Ones, but you love mid-cut Timberlands. Yeah. And people started, you know, Instagram is ill because you start getting that interaction with the fans and, the same way they did with the Black Nasties, they kind of exiled the Chucker. You know what I mean? I started getting teased and shit. I'm like, damn, I'm a grown man. They teased me. Getting cyberbullied over <laughs> your sneakers? It's killing me. Different. You, couldn't, you couldn't just go like field boot and like call it a day back See, then? No, I rock, with the, I rock with the field boots too. But the Chucker, I've been wearing that to school, first day of school since like my first year in junior high school. Jeez. You know what I mean? That was ill for me. When I saw Nas win to a Nick game and he was killing him, I said, "Oh yeah." <laughs> what about what times about, change? What about the butt naked Tims? Like this? never. <laughs> <laughs> but naked, they like, gonna get it today or tomorrow or the next year to come. Never. I'm just gonna put it out there. Uh, I don't need these, but I feel like if I say anything <laughs> other than drip, these crazy ass fans we got gonna try and give me worst take, and I didn't worst take enough. So this is a drip, you crazy motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> My brother Banks, we also do outfits on this segment. Okay. And obviously, no better person, better person in the world outfits to do than Lloyd Banks outfits. Outfit number yeah, one. I already know what this Doom buggy, buggy Lloyd. <laughs> Leg out the door. Bull. Talk to me. What's going on right now? I, I don't know. I can't see the shoe. What, what shoe? G unit. G unit Reebok. Okay. Always repping. G unit clothes. Yeah. Those With the one leg out. And I was killing the headband at that time. Oh, oh heavy. Yeah. Was I've been thinking about the headband lately because I have yeah. something to hide and <laughs> no. I just felt like it would go real well. <laughs> what made you rock the headbands? Was it an athlete or just did, did you sweat a something lot? in the city? <laughs> or did you sweat a lot, I guess, what the fuck? That was just, I don't know, that was just my thing. I loved, I loved the headband, yo. Like, headbands was the shit with the do-rag on there, like all type of you shit. You ever do I, like the two headbands at once? Never. You know? What, the shit Joe Budden had? <laughs> <laughs> nah, you, yeah, that was something else. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Joe. Sheesh. So, I mean, I must ask my brother, is this a drip? Is this a flip? Is this a skip? For the time, it was a drip to me. Okay. I was getting paid for it, and come on, it's 
cool to me. It's probably like what, 2003? Wait, mm-hmm. did you ever do the paper towel? Like nah. sweat, like like Jada had that <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> nope. The jeans weren't too tight. I mean, too baggy. Um, the shirt was probably like a two X. Tongue fuck wasn't too bad. Yeah, I mean, this is like it looks like you're on vacation. It's like rappers. They're just like us. You know, you're just like your leg out, just chilling. <laughs> <laughs> Drip. Rappers are just like us. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, you're living your lyrics. It looks like you came fresh off the jet and you breeze to the beaches and here you are. Looks nope. like I came from somewhere. Like, first of all, I got jeans on on the beach, so I don't know what the hell I was doing. But, uh, Look. That's the only knock. You got the G and his sneakers on. Yeah. No blue Yankee fitted, but it's a drip. Yeah, what's it called? I'm, I'm really biased. I mean, just to know that, like, how hard you repped the brand at all mm-hmm. times, how whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is a drip, man. The secret G- agent escorting you. He's on a mission, dude. <laughs> is, that like, is that like secret service? Or the something? driver is different. <laughs> Next outfit. This right here yeah. is... Hall of Fame G Unit outfit. The Jordan headband, G Unit T with the white T a little bit longer under yeah. it. Bung long chain, mm-hmm. come down to the belly button. G Units mm-hmm. with the baggy denims mm-hmm. or whatever. Like this is with the 03 cuff. in a nutshell mm-hmm. headlock kicking the ball. Let's go. Skip, this is I'm, London. Yeah, I'm if skipping, I'm skipping, that skipping this yeah. one? Why are you skipping this, if you don't mind me asking, sir? The pants were like probably a 40. Right, probably a size 40. The t-shirt is probably a 3X. If I could put that same outfit on now with the appropriate size, mm-hmm. it, right. it, it, would, it would go, it would be cool. G-Unit crew, mm-hmm. main members, who was the first person to be like, man, I'm changing the size of my jeans? Me. <laughs> yes. yes, yes. Like I'm done with this shit. Yes, okay. You Definitely. Feel, you didn't feel self-conscious like the first day you were walking around with like a kind of um, tight pan on? No, nah, not like, Super tight. Yeah, not skinny. Go full American Apparel. Not them no more. I mean, this is an era. I mean, you are wearing the the whole era. (laughs) You are wearing you are wearing the Jumpman logo. Did you get shit for that? Like, I really can't remember that time. That might be like 2004. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say drip. I'm gonna say the same. I could never skip this era because this is what built me. You know what I mean? This is the foundation right here. Yeah. I'm gonna say skip because I love Lloyd Banks music, but I hate all 2000s fashion. (laughs) And I probably had a bulletproof bulletproof vest on under that. I'm sure it's so big you can't even even tell. Last but not least in outfits, LeBron. Okay, this is you handing the Louboutin shoe. To yeah, yo. Why was he Tell inspecting your shoe? Why, why, why is, what, what? Um, is this a flex? You weren't sure if they right. were real? What was it? I can't really remember, but okay. I just remember me and Yale was like a few of the first, you know, a couple of the first that was getting into like. Um, he said he was like the, the first to wear Hermes, yeah. Yeah, I still got Hermes stuff to this day. Like, you know, I just thought they were dope as a brand. Like, mm-hmm. even like the jeans, like, you know, you know the tag that be on the back? It was like inside the pants. Very classy. And I that was you. around the time where like a lot of prints were coming out, mm-hmm. like the Damiers and, mm-hmm. you know, the Gucci was heavy on the patterns yeah. and stuff. And we were trying to like do things that just more discreet, you know what I mean? Like fine leather, you know what I mean? Exactly. All white, all black. The less logos, the better. I didn't do uh, <laughs> red bottoms too, too often. Like, okay. The first wave was cool to me. You know, when they started with all the spikes and stuff, I just got disinterested in, but Hermes was like, man, they high tops, oh man. So, so you got the Louis Vuitton Air Force Ones on deck? No. This is a flip for me. Okay. I love understanding the moment, you know, of, of, of Tony inspecting your footwear like this. So to me, this That's is my drip. guy. I mean, this is the talk New York right here. Yes, sir. It's a drip. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't go against the unit. I don't go against Lloyd Banks or Tony Yayo. Drip. Drip. Thanks, before we get out of here for the day, we want to breeze to the comment section and see what people have been saying about us on YouTube for the past week, which is always a fun time. We have one from Josh Miller saying, love you guys. After leaving rehab for an alcohol addiction, I found FSR. You guys rekindled my love for sneakers. Help me find a new outlet to assist me in recovery. I look forward to every Thursday show. Wow. Stay strong, Josh. Caesar says, found you guys with the Marrow episode. Since now they're RIP, you guys have filled the void. Love the show. I haven't stopped watching since I got a W on the new Travis Scott. Sorry, done. I need some dad socks, though. Thank you, Mira, for your follows, bitch. <laughs> Jack Scott says, I work at a sneaker store in Australia, and a customer and I had a massive chat about us watching the show for years. Aussie FS Army going strong. Wow. Thank you for that. There. Been here for years and uh, been here for a while more. Be around longer than the Oprah show. Before I go, I want to I wanna give you your props for actually making me change one of my whole projects. Oh, wow. You, so about Gangsta Girls. He, it was. It was, I my, know, it was yeah. my first installment with DJ Drama. 
I believe you was at a concert. In New York. And you said something about how you was in New York radio don't sound like mm -hmm. New York artists and shit. And I saw that clip and I had like maybe like 16 to 18 joints with drama. Yeah. And I was kind of like doing my rendition. I was doing Over the South. what I thought yeah. mm -hmm. you were supposed to do on a drama tape. But that right there stamped it for me. I said, oh, hell no. I said, nah, I scrapped the whole project. You, you, you saying that to me and like me literally being like a Lloyd Banks fan. Like, this is not for cameras or none of that. And just hearing you say such a thing is like, me saying that, the person that I was speaking for and the people was for the young artists because I was speaking for Dave East back then. And he didn't right. know me. He didn't, he didn't ask me. He didn't know anything about me. But mm -hmm. I love Dave East. I love Joey Badass. And he's, I was like, these dudes are amazing, but I don't hear the music. And I keep hearing my goddamn self. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing the Migos. All, and sure. I, I'm mm -hmm. from Atlanta. So I, like, I hear this all the time. And mm -hmm. they're coming to New York and I want to hear something else so that I could be inspired and be a better artist. I kind of took that like, a message to me too, like, yo, you know what? He's right. I went back in and I created what turned into be uh, Failure's No Option, mm -hmm. uh, All or Nothing, the first installment. If you ask my core fan base, they'll put that up there as my top two projects between that and Cold Corner 2. So something- You put the battery in your back. I definitely owe that to you, to you. Love and respect, man. This has been another episode of Full Size Run. Of course, I'm your host, Brandon Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Trinidad James. Um, Blue Half Nut, the PLK, Lloyd Banks, you know. Full Size Army. Lloyd yeah. Banks, Cody too. Yeah. She on every color, that's a full size. Buy a six for my kids, bought a seven for my chick. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Dad here, Trinidad James. Come on, guys, it's hundreds of episodes almost. Subscribe. We want more subscribers. If you're not subscribed, you need to subscribe now. You know how upset I get when I hear that people aren't? Like, you're watching this and you didn't subscribe yet? Like, what? what uh, just, please. But even if you've only watched one episode, or two episodes, or three episodes, or four episodes, subscribe, please. Subscribe. Do it. Subscribe. Subscribe.